I want to build a skin on frame boat and uh, I've ordered a kit from gaboats.com. Uh, this is a Classic 12, which is like a small dinghy slash rowboat slash sailing boat, um, kind of inspired by the Whitehall sort of design. Um, and the kit comes with the ballistic nylon or Dacron for the outside of the boat. Um, the Kevlar twine, which helps reinforce the frame. Uh, this, the heat and bond, which is kind of like a, a heat activated double sided tape. And then the plans. So, we've got the main plans for all the forms. And then, because the Classic 12 can be set up as um, with a sailing rig, there's these additional plans for all the parts you need for the sailing rig, like the uh, the mast step and the, the keel and the dagger board and all that stuff. Here's the main overlay of what the boat will look like. The transom needs to be held at 3 degrees, so I've made these supports and I'm just going to screw those to the strong
So I experimented with a couple of different ways of clamping the stringers into the transom um, and I settled on these little blocks with some hot glue gun and I wrapped these in tape so hopefully they haven't stuck to the epoxy and I should be able to just uh, break them off and then I'll, I'll peel off the hot glue.
I've cut this slot with the jigsaw and then to clean it up I've got some cutoffs of the rest of the daggerboard box uh, and I've temporarily glued those in place with some hot glue and I'm going to use those as a template to uh, run my bearing on my router against and that'll clean up the slot to perfectly align with the rest of the box. I've realised I've made a little mistake, so on the plans these parts here were specified to be a little bit longer, they would have come out to about here. Um, and I was confused as to why they would do that, because there's nothing to support them out here. Uh, but having looked at some pictures of other people's builds of the Classic 12, I realised that they're meant to go on top of the, the uh, floorboards, uh, in which case there'd be other floorboards here to support them. But I probably could just leave them as is and it would be fine. The daggerboard box is, is also going to be supported by the seat. But I might as well just fix it now and do it properly. Uh, so I'm just going to cut and chisel away that block and then when I glue the new one on top it will hide it completely.